Hi guys, I'm here to show you how to make your own glitter nail polish from any loose glitter that you have. This one that I have here is Recollections. It's called it's a fine glitter. This one is Bling. It's absolutely one of my favorite glitters in the whole world and with the Recollections brand, you can actually use it in your nail polishes, acrylics or anything that has to do with nails if you mix it it will stay just as brilliant and as beautiful as you could see here just is amazing so this is the bottle that I created what I did was I used a bottle of clear nail polish I didn't have the complete bottle full because as you know with glitter it tends to get dried up and clumpy so I'll show you one from the store. This is a glitter liner and it just is really dry and, and not constituted properly. So what I like to do is with my glitter polishes like this liner, um, instead of adding any nail polish thinner to it, I like to reconstitute it with clear nail polish it keeps it from getting all um, messed up if you keep putting thinner in it so again it's the glitter the clear and I filled only half the bottle so I can have a more intense glitter because if you have too much product in here too much nail polish then you're gonna have to put so much of the actual glitter let me see if I find a nail to show you on you're gonna have to put too much of this glitter into the bottle and it won't have enough room to put as much as you want okay so I like my glitter to be on the thicker side so it gives me good coverage let me just turn it to the side I'm just stirring it because it has a lot in here but yet it's still manageable so with glitter it's a question of dabbing it on not stroking so you put and you dab you could see the full coverage that this gives you I do admit that when I go to church and my nails have this on it it just glitters so much that a lot of the time I'll be sitting there just staring at my nails because it's like diamonds it's absolutely my favorite in the world so you could see you dab it on you don't stroke it on so what happens is when you um, stroke the polish on which I'll show you how it looks when you stroke it say people who don't know how to do polish you see what happens it's very thin and you get a lot of breaking in between alright so like I said dab it on and you get complete coverage now I'm going to show you okay fantastic I am loving that um, let me put this over here so you could see it what I'm going to show you is basically I'm just going to close this for right now but I'll show you to get the product inside to the bottle take a piece of paper and you roll it up into a cone I suggest taping it because when I actually did mine I left it as you see here like that and the paper kind of bounced on me and um, it actually spilled a little I'm just sticking a little brush in there so you could just leave a little opening like that on the bottom you can see that but I would suggest taping it and then what you do is you hold it over your bottle 
and you pour your product in making sure you have paper underneath because yeah it makes a big mess this is fine glitter and it gets all over so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just show you if you don't want to do a whole bottle what you can do this is um, a piece of paper from my nail forms and if you don't know what nail forms are it's for sculpting nails okay I just took the backing off. It's like a waxy paper. Alright, so if you don't want to do a lot of um, nail polish and you want to see how your polish and your glitter react, then just take a little dab like that. I'm going to open up the side here. I'm going to be using my cuticle pusher and I'm going to put some on the side here and with my orange wood stick I'll just bring some over and just swirl it in so there it is this will give you an idea if you can or cannot use your um, glitters because of the fact that not all glitters okay are how's the word I'm looking for they there are glitters that I've used that bleed and as you can see I'm just throwing in a little dab more of the I'm not touching the glitter because I do not want to contaminate my clear with it but um some glitters tend to bleed and they're not good for this process so I'm gonna take a liner brush I'm gonna clean that off a second I'm gonna come in here alrighty and I'm just gonna pick some up and I'm gonna put it on my nail and you'll see that the consistency is there and that's if you don't want to use a whole bottle okay now I'll just wipe that off my nail really quick before it sets up and I'm cleaning my brush in acetone before that sets up as well now I'll be able to wipe it off of my nail without ruining my nail design because my nails are sealed with uh, gel so that when I am doing nails my nails won't get messed up alright guys so I hope that's been helpful and you try that at home use your I know recollections don't bleed but other brands do so have fun making your own glitter polishes and don't be afraid to try something new. Like I said, this is only halfway full with the clear. Then I pour this in and I use a long, um, actually I use a skewer, a skewer to go in there and stir it to the bottom. And then I use the brush to test it well guys again I hope it's been helpful it's helped you and been informative so like I said do a sample first half a bottle do a trial do a trial nail don't stroke dab 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 and I recommend this product which is recollections Thank you for watching. If you like this tutorial, please go to my Facebook fan page. You'll see more um, nail designs and you'll see how I use these products in there. Thank you. The um, Facebook fan page, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank for a second, is my uh, nail expressions. 
Thank you for watching. Uh, share this video with your friends. Leave questions and comments and rate the video. Thank you.